welcome back to Mad Skills. If you want your app to start quickly and provide a smooth user experience, you have come to the right place. In this series, we are introducing you to tools and best practices that give you all the modern Android development skills you need when working with performance. Performance spans every aspect of Android development, and we are aiming to make it more approachable and user-friendly. In the upcoming videos, we'll zoom into two key areas, app startup improvements and creating a smooth runtime experience. We'll share how to create and use baseline profiles. This new technology has already helped several top partners improve their app startup time by an average of 30%. Baseline profiles are production ready and can help your code run faster as well. We're also covering new developments in Android Studio profilers, how the new Jetpack macro benchmark library helps you to keep track of your app's performance and introduce you to more libraries and products that help you monitor your code's performance during development and in production. We'll give you a sneak peek into the new Jankstats library and more. Performance metrics can include more than just improving app startup and creating a smooth, jank-free experience. Reducing battery drain, being smart about data usage and caching, decreasing application size, and creating an overall crash-free experience are also important when working with performance. And while we won't cover all of those areas in this MadSkills series, you can find detailed information in our developer guides, which we update regularly. We make our guidance more approachable by introducing a new mental model for performance. All of our guidance is now aligned with three pillars, inspect, improve, and monitor. These pillars provide you with a structured approach to performance in a closed feedback loop. Inspecting performance helps you understand what's going on in your app. With that, you can see what's happening in your app and how that aligns with what you expect to happen. The improving performance pillar consists of tools, libraries, and guidance to help your code gain a performance boost. And when monitoring performance, you are able to verify whether implemented improvements are actually making performance metrics move in the right direction. It can also give you more data for the next inspection cycle. We've seen time and time again working with key partners that improving your app's performance has a direct impact on user retention, better ratings, and improved business metrics. Stay with us. Hit like and subscribe to learn more in the next episodes. Also, while you wait for them to become available, why not learn more about performance debugging from the previous MadSkills series on performance? Thanks for watching. <laughs>